Hello, everybody! Woo! Yeah, yeah! Okay, um, Mr. Pigs, one of the contestants from last season's, um, show, Stuff Chance Island, and now the host of this, um, s s new of this new show, um, called, um, Stuff Chance World Tour Aftermath, um, it's one on one with Stuff Chance World Tour as we speak. And, um, yeah, um, still trying to think. And, anyways, the only reason I'm hosting this after show is, after math, it's because, um, yeah, because I quit last season. And, because of me quitting last season, yeah. Duh, for stupid reasons. Simons, shut the frick up. Okay? Would you like to take over this after show? Math? Not really. Bingo. Anyways. Anyways, um, yeah, that's the main reason why I'm hosting the Aftermath. Anyways, um, I'm the host, Mr. Pig, and I want you to meet the pig guy that didn't get caught by this season alongside myself. So here they are, one of our, one of our couples from last season, Samantha and Romeo. Hey guys, what's up dudes, party? Munchlax, Hall, the non-stop talking Alex. Hey yo, I'm so as I am. Alex, shut up. Aww. The scary cat, Emily. Um, hi guys. Emily's least favorite dragon, Salamance. Fuck you all. And the electrical jock, Electivire. What's up? Too bad he's not. Too bad he's not with Dwarf Room right now because she got in the season while he's stuck here. Hey, very funny. Whatever. And did anyone just realize that he's the only one that made the merge last season that didn't got qualified this season? Yeah, I think we realized that. Hey, listen. It's not my fault. It was Trixie's fault. Yeah, yeah, everyone blames on Trixie. She's the, she's the most hated person ever. Who wouldn't? Ah, <sighs> whatever. Anyways, um... Glad to be here. Now, we're going to be interviewing the first part of people that got women here throughout Stuff Chance World Tour. So, anyone with me? Why is everyone not chewing? Maybe because they don't like you. Or maybe because they don't like you. Woohoo! Fuck you all. Now we see some chewing. Anyways, um, doing episode two, uh, which contains our first two eliminations on this season, the contestants reached to Egypt. And by the end of that episode, SBM and Paul were the first two eliminated. SBM because S. Cavalier convincing her team to fall off. And yeah. And yeah, maybe because she couldn't use her psychic. Because she didn't use her psychic abilities to help to guide her team throughout the maze. Well, it's maybe because Daffy wouldn't want her. And Paul went because of his nasty attitude towards his team. And the team leader Snowy. Um, in episode three, we went to Japan, and due to an injury, um, Billy was sent packing. Then in episode four, Blue was sabotaged by Escalier during the challenge, making his team lose. But since Blue fell for it, she f went off the. She went off and got eliminated. And finally, in episode five. The baseball challenge, which Daffy got eliminated because of his horrible leadership and him sucking to, at the challenge. And he was the, making him the first newbie kicked off. Stinks to be him. Anyways, we're spreading our first two guesses. Espeon and Poa. Ah! Hi guys! Boo! Fuck you! Yeah, Poa, no one likes you. Well, nice to meet you again, Mr. Pig. Well, great to, great to hear that. F you! Not glad to hear it. Anyways, Espeon, you were the first one kicked off. How did it feel? It was kind of unfair. Well, I knew I was going home because I was going home soon because I didn't play one up last season, but I didn't expect it this early. Stupid, stupid ass cavalier. Yeah, that was kind of one of the most dimwitted moves in the history of the game, but... Then again, there are a couple of idiots on your team. Yeah, but... But he seems smart, and... Chinchino, well... She's smart as well, and Gwyneth's a good person. 
Jessica, I don't know. Um, and Kevin, he's smart, but apparently he's a villain after we saw last episode. Yeah, it kind of surprised me too. But I'll get to that in a moment. And Paul, and um, who do you think will have the good chance of winning? Well, I hope it's so far and goes far and wins it for us, but I don't think it will, but we'll see. Okay, Paula, go to you. <gasps> Fuck you. Okay, um, you kind of got on me because you gave you two a bad attitude. Why? Um, because I'm not happy with Snowy being the leader of my team. I mean, seriously, he's a dog. <gasps> no wonder you got kicked off. Shut it. Um, who do you think has the best chance of winning? I hope none of the, those losers. Well, hope no one, hope none of my teammates. But if I had to say one person, maybe I don't know. Um, maybe Sparks. He looks tough. Or Solora. I don't know. But if it's someone I hate, I'm gonna be fucking pe pissed. Okay, whatever. We're done with you two. Until we go on to the next segment. What? Nothing. Time for our next guess. You, he's an idiot, but it's very likable. Please welcome a fan favorite, Billy. Hi, everybody. Billy's happy to be here. Billy, apparently you got fought off early, early, and I'm shocked. Anyways, how do I feel? I feel sad. I want to be with Meryl, but apparently, Frank decided to be stupid and kick me off early just because of an injury. Um, yeah. Um, did you didn't watch episode yeah, do you know that Tom was the reason you got, was the one that sabotaged you? Well, he wasn't planning to, but he didn't, ki but he was planning to sabotage someone so his team can win. And he didn't care who, but you fell for it and you got kicked off. Well, I hate it. Um, who do you think has the best chance of winning? Melo! If she gets fallen off, then who do you think? I don't know, BFF or Snowy? Why'd they get kicked off? Duh. Sit down, I don't want to hear this all day. Oh. Next guest, she's a psycho dog that likes biting tails. Welcome, Crazy Dog Blue. Ruff, ruff, ruff. Hi, everybody. Ruff, ruff, ruff. Blue, calm down and let me interview you. Fine on. Ugh. Anyways, how did it feel to get kicked off so early last season? I mean, so early this time. We're all sick. We're not right. Because this cover will sabotage me. He's gonna die. Who do you think has the best chance of winning? This cover because he's gonna be dead by the end of the show. Trust me. Okay, sit down. I don't want to hear from you. You're crazy. Woof. And our last guess, Daffy, the and the Dumbo Duck that is very cocky and full of himself. Boo! Bow! Hey! You had that coming, Daffy. Ha, whatever. Okay, um, Daffy, you got fought off. How did it feel? And the first newbie voter, how did it feel? Dumb. I was hoping both would be the first newbie kicked off, but me? Why me? I'm everyone's favorite! <laughs> Guess not. Shut it. Um, who do you think will, um, who do you think has the best chance of winning? Not Bugs. Um, who do you think deserves to win the most? Not answering, because I didn't got to know everyone. Wow, no wonder you got kicked off so early. Shut it. Sit down, Daffy. I'm getting sick of your attitude. Fine then. Screw you. Porky Pig. Hey! The name's not Porky Pig. It's Mr. Pig. More like Quitter Pig. So I'm gonna shut it. Anyways, time to move on to our next... I'll see you guys in part two. Well, we're gonna be doing something special.